Go everywhere and do everything. Does that sound like you? If so, you need a motorhome that can keep up with your busy lifestyle. This is it. It's Steve from Thor Motor Coach with the 2025 Delano 24XL. Four Thor features you're going to absolutely love. One, it has to be the storage. This has the most storage in the Delano lineup from bikes to water skis to snow skis. Set up the grill, have a couple brew skis. You're gonna love how much this can hold. Number two, the new Mercedes 4500 Sprinter chassis. You are going to get 2,322 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity, all new four cylinder engine with more power all the way around. And it's a Mercedes, so it's gonna have all the bells and whistles. Inside, one of my favorite features of the 24XL, it's got to be the twin to king conversion. We'll show you the great sleeping quarters in here. And what I really love about this, now remember all of this is 25 feet, eight inches in length, easy to handle, easy to use. We're gonna walk through every bell and whistle, every single feature of the 24XL, so let's head inside. I love the 24XL. One of the big reasons I love this floor plan is everything is accessible even with the wall slide in. You can access your theater seats, you can access the kitchen, the bathroom, even that great twin to king conversion we will show you in just a bit. You are gonna have two seat belts here in the theater seating and seat belts in the driver and passenger seats. So seat belts for four in here and sleeping for three. We'll show you that big old bed in the back. We'll start right up here in the over the cab bunk, 500 pound capacity up here. And this makes a great spot for someone to just catch some quick Z's, a nice little rest here, 500 pound capacity. You have this nice sky shade, the button is controlled down there, but you can see I can easily fit up here. Now, obviously I can't sit up, but I could catch a nice quality nap up here. A lot of great features when you're up here. So maybe you are on the road and look at that. You have your video controllers here. You have a TV over there. Maybe you are connected to the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. So a lot of things happening with that. As you are on the go, because you have a 1000 watt inverter in here, TV's fired up, right? You got the old video games going as you are on the road or maybe you fired up the old laptop here and you're going to get a little work done or you're going to hop on the social media you're going to video chat someone great way to pass the time as a passenger and then when you get to where you need to go this ladder just folds right up with these little levers here and the storage in the closet we will show you I'm just going to move this all out of the way because we're going to access the cockpit here in just a few minutes. And while I'm over here, let's talk about all of the controls over here because you're going to use these every day on your Delano Adventure. Up top, we have Rapid Cam Plus. This is going to be the control center for your 24XL. So control all your lights from here, check your tank levels, your battery levels, start and stop your generator. Next button down is for your generator. Two generator options on here. Standard is going to be the 4,000 watt propane generator. This has the optional 3,200 watt diesel generator that's gonna run straight off your tank. There's an auxiliary control panel right here. You can start and stop your generator from here, engage it, and then you can set your auto gen start settings right from this screen. You can also monitor your 200 watts of standard solar charging right from here. It's gonna give you a history. You can see what's happening with your solar system on a day just like today. Next button down is for your lights. You can turn them all on or off from here. If there's an arrow by it, you can dim that light. Then we have our thermometer. That is going to be for our AC, 15,000 BTU AC up here. You also have a heat pump on that. Turn on your furnace from here and you can open your kitchen fan. So you're going to have a couple of max air fans. You have one in the bathroom, you have one above the bedroom, and then you have a vent fan right in the middle of the bathroom there, kind of like the kitchen bathroom area. As we continue down here, the slide looking button is for your driver's side slide over here. It is also for your awning and then for your settings. You can dial in some of the settings, change the time and connect to the mobile app here. A couple other controls we'll talk about when we're setting up camp. 
but once we're at camp, we're going to enjoy these theater seating. Very versatile area right here. So sit down just like this, right? Even with the slide in, you can sit down. Someone's buckled in enjoying the ride. Now with the slide in, the theater seats will cover the mount for the table here with the slide wall out. You can set up your dining table for games, for work, whatever. Pole goes there, tabletop is up, looks like this. It is a great spot to just sit and relax. Or again, maybe you put the table away and you kick back, you put your feet up and you're streaming something on the smart TV. All the apps are already built in. As we move over to our kitchen, I wanna point out this beautiful decor. We have the nice Euro style curved cabinets. This is our snow leopard decor with our Miami modern woodwork. And behind that beautiful woodwork, lots and lots of storage to use how you want. Use some of it as a pantry, dishes, tall enough you can keep big appliances up here. And what's nice, you have these nice soft clothes, hidden hinges, everything stays nice and secure for the ride. You have more cabinets down below, throw some extra pots and pans right down here. And you have all the appliances you need for a great trip. Two burner gas cooktop right over here. You need your propane on to operate this. You have your microwave. This is gonna be a convection microwave. You also have an air fryer button on there. Works just like the air fryer you would use in your house, only you don't have that heating element and you, fit, you can fit a lot more in there. Love these. In fact, I'm gonna get one of these microwaves for my daughter's dorm room next fall. She uses an air fryer all the time. Nice, large, single bowl sink. You have a cover right here, pull down sprayer. And if you need a little breeze coming through the kitchen on a day like today where it's a little bit warm outside, nice awning style windows, frameless windows on the outside as well. You can just turn the handle and you open those just like that. And you'll get a nice ventilation. And if you open the ones over here, then you're gonna get cross ventilation as well. And let's say the sun is just pouring down on you. Look at that, roller shades right there. So you're gonna have roller shades here, roller shades in the kitchen. And at night, when you want all the privacy, you pull the roller shades. And then there are panels that will go over the windows on the passenger door, nice big screen for the windshield and over here on the driver's door. They look like this, block out all of the light, get all the privacy you need when you are set up at camp. And the last piece of the kitchen I wanna show you is this nice, look at this, 12 volt refrigerator. We have it stocked with all of the goodies that you need. You do have auto gen start, 12 volt fridge. So need your battery disconnect switch on for this. Keeps everything nice and cold. And as we move back, we are into our split bath. Let me open this door, because this is what I love about this split bath. So you can shut the door like this, then you have this whole area to yourself. You also have a privacy door right here that snaps in so you can close that. And then you have this entire section to yourself. So over here in the shower, we have a skylight, so nice and tall, plenty of headroom back here. Shower is on a wand. You have tankless hot water on here, which you can control from this side, the driver's side where we have our medicine cabinet. We have our foot flush toilet, we have our sink, we have some storage in there. Again, max air vent in the bathroom. And then right here in the middle we have, nice look at that, you can block out the sunlight. You can open this and suck out the steam or the heat. And then down below, one trick little feature that I wanna show you, we have a cool drawer right down here to store whatever you need right in here. And that is gonna take us right back into the bedroom. This is one of my favorite features of this 24XL. I love the twin to king conversion. You can use it just like this. Plenty of room here to just pop in. You're laying down. I can fit very, very comfortably back here. And then you have a nice electronic station back here. You can put your phone back here. You have USB-A charging, a control panel for your Rapid Cam Plus, start your generator, control the lights. It's prepped for a TV over on the other side. If you wanna add that, you can. You have a number of drawers down below, four drawers here, quick access to your fuse box, six cabinets right up above. And if you want something a little bit bigger, say you travel with your dogs or your pets, you know, you have your golden retriever, our big old Mr. Winston and Miss Zoe, they would 
they would go right there. Still, me, the Pootie friends, the wife. That's the table for the couch. We just have that right back here for now. But you can see plenty of room back here and even a little more storage. Gonna move this cushion out of the way here. Makes out just like that. You have a couple of closets here. You have some hanging space over here. This is also where the table legs store for the table that you have for the theater seating. Another table that I wanna point out, well, I have the leg in my hand right over here and the tabletop. This is gonna set up in between the driver and passenger seat. So there is extra seating. So maybe you have guests over, a couple people can sit on the theater seats, a couple people with the table set up just like this here at the driver and passenger seats. Gonna have some hanging space in here as well. Can hang all of your shirts in here. I would give the hanging space to my wife. And, and, and ladies, I'm gonna save you a little time here. So you have all these drawers below. Let me show you guys how to properly fold a shirt for your trip. This is how you pack. Boom, you throw them all in there just like that. We don't need the hanging space. We have the drawers and that's gonna be just fine. It's vacation. Wrinkles are, wrinkles are okay in your clothes, right? And then we have this privacy door when you want the privacy there. And that's gonna take us through all of the great seating and living in here. The drive though. Oh, the drive in this new Mercedes chassis, phenomenal. So let's head up front and get this baby out on the road. Single button fires up this new twin stage i4 turbo, nine speed transmission. You got a little scoop in this motor home here. Gonna walk through all the controls and features and functions of the dash. We'll start right over here. Remote mirrors, heated power seats with memory. So it's nice when it's this way, right? You even have this little extension here for your thighs. You can turn this around. I like to set this as button number three. So once you have it spun around, it will get right into position for you. Power seat, but the heat function's nice as you are out in a cold climate. Gonna give you a little warmth there. Auto headlights over here. You have a stock for your windshield wipers. A Couple of features I like about these windshield wipers. It's a wet wiper system. So you're going to have the fluid. It's going to actually shoot out of the wiper instead of jets on the hood. They're also rain sensing windshield wipers. Directionals over here. And then you have your gear shift over here for that nine speed transmission, paddle shifters if you want. And then as we go through all of the settings and features on the buttons, this thing is gonna, from a safety standpoint, you're gonna get more assists than John Stockton in this because you have traffic sign assist, you have braking assist, you have lane keeping assist. It even tells you the speed limit on the dashboard. When you're in construction, you hold down the brake just like this and then a hold feature happens and it's gonna say hold on the dashboard and you can actually take your foot right off the brake and just sit there until the car slowly start to move. And then once you get going, if you wanna set that adaptive cruise control, you can do that right from here. Keep an eye on everything you need. What's neat is these are thumb pads, so it works like a little tablet here. We're just gonna reset all of those values so we can start from scratch. You just move right up the little scroller there and then you have a home button that's gonna take you home. So you have trip meters, your driver's assist, service reminders, everything you need, your radio, your media, connect your Bluetooth phone over here. This side is going to take and control your infotainment center. This is an awesome system. First of all, it's voice activated. You just say, hi, Mercedes. And then she will ask you. See, she wants, she wants to help you. I'm sorry, can you say that? Cancel. And then you can feed her the information and she will answer for you. So you're gonna have navigation on here. It is not RV specific navigation, but you have navigation, radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, info all about your Delano from what the engine's doing, your consumption. If you wanna read the owner's manual, that's in there as well. There are a number of apps and you can control a couple of different settings in here as well. So read the manual on that. One of my favorite features to dial into that safety here is right up here, we have a plug. So I have my phone plugged in here. You have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on here. You have Sirius XM satellite radio. So all the gadgets, you don't, you don't need the six foot cord. It's, 
that's all we had. But there's a wireless charger here. You plug it in to the little port over here that has the phone and the screen, and that will wire this in. And then you have a couple of charging ports over here. All your radio hard buttons are down below. Climate control is right here. And then when it comes to storage and cup holders, you have just about everything you could ask for. Throw some maps right up here. Cup holder in the door, cup holder here, storage here, cup holder here, cup holder here, cup holder here, cup holder here, 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 and here, and over there. Think of all the beverages you can store up here when you are on your ride. You have a nice glove box over here, and then right up top here, you have your nice interior lights, you have an SOS button, you have the control for the sky shade, and then another safety feature, and I love this one, this mirror is fantastic. So it is always on when you're driving down the road, you can see exactly what's behind you. And then when you're in reverse, that image is gonna show up nice and clear like that. And there's also volume on here. So right here, let's say we were going to thread the needle and get this into that garage there. I could have Tom back there telling me, hey, a little left, a little right, slow down, come on back. So it's nice to have a spot or you're backing in to really tight spot. So everything in here is really easy to use. Outside, everything is really easy to use. And that was one of the things that I mentioned I really like about this 24XL is the ease of use. So we're gonna head outside, walk around, and show you just how easy this Delano is to set up. Ease of use, you know how much I love it on this Delano. So right here in the doorway, this 24XL has the optional one-touch leveling jacks. That controller is right there. Just hit auto level and your Delano will be nice and square. There's also your 12 volt battery disconnect switch. You have a switch for the step, which I absolutely love. So you flip that and then when you shut the door, that goes in or you can take and turn the switch. So that step actually stays out. That's real nice to have at camp. I like to leave it in this position. Then when you fire up that engine, it will automatically go in. Up front, a couple of things I really love about this. First, you have the diamond shield front paint protection. So that's going to keep your paint nice and chip free. I love the textured step here. So if you have to wipe off the windshield, you can most certainly do that. Black paint gets awfully hot in the sun. So just be aware of that. But in this sun, you can see the nice metal flake. It's a beautiful paint job. This is a full body Sickens paint. It is called Atlantic. It really looks nice with these blacked out wheels that we have for 2025 one piece fiberglass front cap. Your mirrors fold in if you would need a little extra room as you're getting into the spot. Nice solid boards right here to get in and out. We talked about the privacy shades. I have one set up real easy for you. They are magnetic. You just pop that right into place here. Look at that. Now you have privacy when you are sleeping back at our front door here. I like the screen, gives you a nice breeze here, especially when you open these windows. We showed you how those work, but you can see how beautiful and just integrated that these frameless windows are. Down below, first storage bay. Nice, big storage bay, fit everything you need in there. This is a rotocast material, by the way, so there's no carpet in there. It's not gonna mold, it's not gonna mildew, it's not gonna stink. You can throw whatever you need in there and then just hose it out. It's gonna be good to go for your next trim. Right here, a couple of 110 plugs. You're gonna need your generator on for that or be plugged into shore power. Up top, a beautiful armless awning. One touch control, press the button. It will come out and give you a nice shade at camp. There's a light bar right at the front here. You can turn that on. That is gonna make a nice night light for you when you are at camp. As we head through the back here, nice large storage bay here. Got our backpack in here, a couple of life jackets for your adventures. Down below, that's going to be the diesel generator. Again, the propane generator comes standard. And as we head back here, there is that large storage bay. Look at the size of that. We got a bike in there, a grill, we have skis. You can fit so much more in here. This is just an absolutely beautiful setup. That's what I love about the 24XL is just the amount of storage. And then you have an exterior propane connection right here. You can set the grill up out here like this. Maybe it's a griddle, whatever it is. Your propane needs to be on for that. We'll show you where that is as we head over to the other side. As we work our way around back, let's start right up top with that backup camera. 
and that always gives you that nice, clear picture. Now, the Delano inspires a lot of confidence behind the wheel, but if you need a little more safety, you can always option in blind spot monitoring. You have a nice fiberglass bumper back here, and then here's your 5,000 pound hitch. You also have your connectors right there. Remember, it is your GCWR minus your GVW. Don't tow and go, do the math. I know you have a lot of storage on here. Just make sure you are towing properly so you stay safe can access the bay from here. I love that it's passed through, there's lights in there. You also have a nice rack here. You have this nice diamond plate tread down there, non-slip, so a lot of room in here. Over 78 cubic feet of storage if you want all of the numbers. Have some of our wet bay here. This is going to be the Nautilus system here. This is real easy to use. So whatever it is you wanna do, you can turn your water pump on from here so you can see right now, we're set up to either winterize or pull in city water. If you're dry camp, you just pull that there. If you want to fill the tank, you do this. All you have to do is just follow the chart here. That's what I love about this Nautilus system. Your cable hookup is here. You have an exterior shower. Your water pump is out here. What I love is that makes the filter real easy to access. If that gets clogged, you can just change that and clean that here. And then when you are ready to drain your tank for your freshwater tank, all you have to do is turn the knob and that will drain. So real easy to use Nautilus system back here. The Lano 24XL is a 30 amp coach. This is going to be the exhaust for your tankless hot water, exhaust for your furnace. Another gorgeous shot of the blacked out wheels. And notice the Thor motor coach shield in the middle there. Nice little touch, isn't it? As we open our wet bay here, this is where you're going to hook up your sewer hose your black tank, your gray tank, these are heated as well. So if your adventure takes you somewhere, you are gonna use those snow skis, not going to be an issue. You can turn on the tank heaters from Rapid Cam Plus. You can also do that from your phone. Real easy to set up wet bay. And then as we head up here, we talked about your propane. That is going to be right here. You fill that from here. You do need that on again to Turn on your hot water. You're also going to need that to fire up the grill or the griddle, whatever it is you need. So a great setup here, everything you need. Fuel fill is right here, 24 and a half gallons of diesel. Goes right there. And we are right back up front for the beautiful 2025 Delano 24 XL. Go everywhere, go see everything and go build your own right now at ThorMotorCoach.com.